This is your daily market review for Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at eXp Realty, aka The Trading Agent, and this is your daily market review, Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. Holy hot diggity darn. Man, congratulations to those who are hanging out in the Discord room, watching the daily market reviews. We've been on point now again people will say well uh, you're gonna be right you can be wrong listen it's a probability based game we have been absolutely on fire nailing the entries the exits the potentialities and giving people the probabilities of potentially what will happen executed really well today i know some folks who just man hit home runs grand slams whatever you want to call them executing some really great trades so again i appreciate all the love support generous donations the people involved you guys make the discord room great and again, I appreciate all the support, man. And so we need to talk about moving forward. The market got a 50 basis point cut. The bond market priced it in like we talked about. The market rose into this event. And now you got to be careful because why are the feds cutting 50 basis points near all time highs? Is that bullish? That's the question you have to ask yourself. In my experience of 25 years of doing this and watching the markets and talking, you know, not talking, letting the feds talk and hear them they don't usually do things to surprise the market. So they must be seeing some real weakness out there. Now, again, is there anything for sure out there? Is there certainty in the market? Can we know for 1000% certainty that A equals B plus C equals D, whatever you want to call it, the Pythagorean theorem, A squared, B squared, C squared. No, we don't know anything for sure, but we know probabilities. And we know rising into this event should be a sell the news. So Again, grab a cup of coffee, get comfortable. We're going to talk about a lot of things in this video. And if it show, if you get any value out of it, hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell. Let me know how I'm doing, what you think. Again, I love all the feedback and the comments and, and interacting with all of you guys. So join the Discord room, link section below, posting on Twitter. Didn't post a ton today. Just was watching the market. I was telling people like, how to, how to get to work, how to execute. Like, subscribe, notification bell, YouTube, Twitter. Again, appreciate it. Check out the website. Tradingagent.com again, turn profits into properties and passive income. That is the goal, y'all. Again, if you're looking to buy, sell, invest in real estate and you do not reach out and let me help you find an agent or let me be involved in the process, you're getting almost free consultation, essentially. Remember, my job is to help out. You get two agents for the price of one. I refer you out. Your agent will be your in the in the market game plan action. Well, I'll be there to help out, support, give feedback along the way. Again, I love it. Again, if you use Zillow rental realtor.com any of these websites they're going to take a commission for finding you an agent and i can guarantee you i can find you a better agent anywhere in this country in my exclusive network of badass agents again if you want to chat hit the zoom link in this description for calendar link blah, blah, blah. sorry just great day amazing day i kind of still can't believe how awesome today was executed well people were on freaking point all right fed watch tool next meeting hmm it's one cut or two cuts. Again, we're so far off. Let's not even go there. Let's talk about the, the market price and the rate cuts. That's why I think the TLT sold off today. Again, we talk about taking profits at, you know, the higher, the more you're up, less you own, take profits, let it chop around and see what happens. Again, we'll talk about the bonds here shortly. Uh, da, 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 da. Why is that acting funny? Bitcoin gets to a range backing off. Be careful. Again, I, I still personally think there is going to be demand destruction liquidity action all sorts of what i would call bs in the markets again i love anything that lower again things that react well to lower rates commodities gold silver certain things obviously again real estate not yet but overall i think the rotation out of tech is the obvious trade the obvious trade is shorting financials oil gas all these things they will pull back at the vix spikes again I've, i'm on record like that and again buy the rumor sell news Let's, let's go deeper. So now we see oil bouncing. If the reset, and again, 50 basis points at all time highs tells you that the feds are worried about something coming. That's my guess. Again, I could be wrong. Oil, watch what happens when it gets down in the mid 60s. Natural gas, again, I love natural gas long term, but I want to buy it at cheaper prices. Make sense? Capiche? Comprende? Dollar. Look at today's action. Oof wild wide and loose that's what i want to see for volatility to increase tlt as we said it's really hard to trust the feds 
at this point in the bond market to go lower rates until they express that they're going to be cutting more. Look at the TLT. Since the bottom of last year, since basically May, look at interest rates have dropped, right? Interest rates have already priced in the drop. The feds today said 50 basis points, and they were pretty vague about you know the future. Well, guess what? For interest rates to go down, the TLT to go up, we need either more carnage or the feds to basically say, we're going to be cutting more rates. And at this point, the market said, well, we don't know. So we're going to take profits in the bonds. And again, TLT goes down, rates go up. Makes sense. I'm not saying necessarily we're going back to the mid 80s, but are we, would you be surprised if we backfill? No, this is what trades do. They don't go straight up. And when they do, be scared because then the bigger down comes after, right? Big downs mean the bigger ups. This makes sense. This is a healthy consolidation, in my opinion. I'd be looking for, I don't know, the 50 day back testing some of these trend lines. Like that would be the freaking gift, y'all posting it here i'll just drag it all over somewhere in this range at some point in september i don't know maybe october that would be the gift that keeps giving again hedge some bond action today i mean the the, the trade to me has maxed out near term so why would i not hedge vix talked about it getting back to the 15 17 range damn didn't i mean we got 17 but 15 not so much we got 16 20 close enough i guess for government work again keep in mind when the feds speak People listen, and I'll give some of the, Lupus was talking about this, like looking at the Vivix bottoming first. Yep, made sense. That's why today it made sense. When the market rallied, this was the, a real, I remember we talking about blow-offs. If, if you've been watching the previous videos, talk about long wicks at extremes, candles. There you go. Look at that. Oh, everything's, great. you're welcome. Now, again, it was pretty scary to put in some extreme orders to most people, but it was very simple, very simple. We'll talk about what orders I put in, but it was simple. So damn simple. Okay. We were looking for a bull trap. If we get the bull trap, then I'm starting to short really simple. When the market, again, we talked about playing the up, man, I liquidated longs on the up move and put in shorts and it was easy. Now am I all in short? No, no, I'm not. I got what I could at the fills. Didn't get really any retest. So we'll see. Again, cash is fine. I don't mind having cash after great trades because there might be better opportunities to go long later. Maybe it drops for a certain period. Again, maybe we get a retest in a probability-based game. You can still lose with pocket aces. Keep that in mind. This feels like a pocket ace is short, but it again, in our favor, but does it have to dump? No. Talked about getting into the blue zone. I thought maybe 480. Watching it today, I was like, uh-oh. I mean, I noticed NVIDIA was lagging. I noticed Meta was, or sorry, Netflix was lagging. I noticed some of these tech names weren't acting so good, right? Apple was up, but all the other major tech names that are usually like ripping and rolling were very flat. So it didn't make sense that we we're going to get to the 480s. We got 478, 83, <laughs> close enough. Again, my favorite shorts, tech and finance, financials. Makes sense. IWM gets back up to the range highs. Look at this wick, y'all. Again, I'm not, I, I don't know anything for long term, like, like, I'm talking about like years out. I'm talking about near term. This looks like topping action. Tomorrow will be interesting. I said in the Discord room, remember what's been happening lately? Lots of gaps. Lots of gaps. Keep that in mind. Dia, here you go. And if you're wondering like where the levels are, QQQ, I apologize. If this is a lower high, I don't know why you wouldn't come back to the 200 day at some point, right? I don't know why I wouldn't get back to the 423, right? If you're going to play this game and you're going to hit the uptrend, well, at some point, you got to get back to some of these either primary downtrend uptrends or you're going to retest levels. Does that make sense? High volume. See, look at the look at the VAP zone right here. Like that would make sense to me because that would unlock volume. Keep that in mind. Watching down there. OK, got it. Good. Great. Gold Ugh, it popped and then it gave it all back again. This is my biggest fear. And now, again, longer term, I'm pretty sure it's going to be much higher near term. Tough. Same thing with silver. Look at it. Popped and just gave it all back, y'all. I'm telling you, this is what I was worried about for metals and miners. Again, longer term, probably doesn't matter at all. Disappear, you'll be fine. But look at these damn candles. This is what I'm telling you. Like, you've got to be very careful chasing the high. Look at that freaking wick. Look at that thing. GDXJ, again, if the market pulls back, miners are not immune. I've ranted about them in every other video. Go, if you have questions, just leave a comment below. I'll answer it again. You've got to hate these candles. Because again, if this was a bottom, you'd be like, oh yeah, that's a bottom. And if it's at a high, you're like, oh, it's not a high, right? 
it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. I could be wrong, but again, probability say you have more likelihood to go down. AEM has been on fire. Not surprised it starts pulling back. AG, again, these junior names should get crushed. Newmont holding up a little better. Again, the larger caps should hold, but these candles don't look good, folks. Again, I like these names in time at on pullbacks in extremes. In extreme. Na, 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 extreme. Taiwan Semi. Interesting. I really thought we'd get back up to the 175. We didn't. Didn't do anything with it. Micron. Again, talk about trading around. It took profits on this. Kind of gave this one up. Watching it, I really thought we'd get to the 20-day. Here's an example of being wrong and being okay with saying, you know what? Let the trade go. Let the trade go. If it's not working, it's not working. Tons of downgrades and upgrades and price changes this week on them. Interesting. AMD. Talked about potentially getting up to the 200 day. No, you didn't. Look at these lower highs. I was noticing this all day. I'm like, why are the semis acting like crap? Put an order in on the SOX, SOXS at 23. It filled. What a freaking gift. NVIDIA really thought we'd get up there. But then again, after hours, how many freaking institutions and hedge funds and the owners were dumping shares? I was like, okay, this is interesting because again, the more they report this stuff, more to me, it seems like retail is just buying up here. And then the action today, it had nothing. It couldn't even make a higher high. You've got to be concerned when the markets break out the new highs and give it up. The names that can't make new highs off of the lows, fugly, scary, not good. Again, shorting semis as a whole. Not didn't don't have any specific shorts, but again, I like the idea. I'm telling you guys, these things are like death traps. SMCI, this one's a little different to me, but it. I mean, I really thought the 20 day, but I guess it will come if you wait long enough. This one's tough. Again, I'm I, I couldn't I don't I'm not touching that one. I like the uptrade, but it was already in. Intel, look at this, gets over the 22, said it has to go. <laughs> Told you I think this thing gets delisted. People get mad when I say it. I'm like, uh probably the best buy after it gets delisted. Look at semis. Look at this. Breaks out, gives it back. Up against the trend line. This is why it makes sense to me to short. And that's where again, watching the soxes. Again, I don't really tr chart the soxes, but I was like, man, I'd love to get it around 23. That's been the floor around here. Okay, would you take a 23 to 40 move? You bet your ass I would. You're welcome. Adobe. Adobes. We talked about this getting crushed after earnings. And no bounce. <laughs> Apple traded this one up. I told you guys. I was like, this thing's probably due to bounce. Fill the gap. Maybe the 50-day. Nailed it. Fudging nailed it. Now, did I sell at the highs? No. I sold in the 221s. Got to 220-270. Okay, whatever. I'll take the chunks in the middle. 215 to 220s. Six points. Again, if you had the options that I traded, again, they is $1.50 up to four, and then it's up to five. So you do the math on that. It's a pretty solid return. Again, that's that's always possible out there. Again, options you gotta be careful. But I like cheap options at certain times. I like in the money options at certain times too. Again, it just depends on the time of year, what you're doing, what the plan is. If you have questions, again, don't hesitate to reach out. Look at Amazon, hits the range highs, doink. Meta, look at this, breaks out, gives it back. But again, you need to close over 542, not so much. CRM, this thing has been trying to rally back. Double, I mean, that looks not good. And you got nowhere. I mean, I know it had X div, but didn't get anything. Google, I mean, I thought maybe 165, it looked today's action. Again, if you start, this is what's so hard about the market and folks, like they just look at the index, but they never dig deeper. I'm scrolling all day, looking at the market participants. I'm like, what is Google doing? It should be rallying. Eh, nothing. Microsoft, look at this. Should be, oh, after yesterday's action, shouldn't it be like looking better? Market making new high. Eh, 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 no, it's not looking good. And DAQ, here you go. Gets back up to the 73s. All right, worth a watch. MicroStrategy. Now, this is when I was talking about intraday trading. When I was like, hey, watch the eight day, the trend line. Man, look at that balance. Got right up to the range highs. Gave it back. Netflix. This was down all day. It felt like open high. I was just, doo -doo 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 -doo. somebody wanted out. Roblox. We talked about breaking out like a trap earlier in the week. Look at it. Fake breakout. Exactly as it played out. Now, again, if you're watching these videos and you're wondering what the success rate of trading is and what we're trying to attain, my personal success rate, it's somewhere in the 70 to 80 range again you can bat 300 and get into the hall of fame if you can hit seven eight out of ten right you're going to do pretty damn good in trading as long as you know how to minimize your losses pan w again i've been telling this for saying this for a long time broken record 
I don't want to buy this until the market gets blasted. Then when it gets on deep discount, I will buy it. Tesla, thought the gap would fill, but look what happened. We talked about the resistance at the 234 plus area. Hits it again. You needed to break out. You didn't get it. Doink. Backing off. Near term, we'll see again. This is what's funny about it. This is an OPEX. Keep that in mind. We could get some volatility the next two days. And when I say volatility, maybe it's just choppy action to blow out puts and calls. Keep that in mind. That's what the... That's what they want to do. They want to destroy premium. Insight, we like this company long-term. Love to see it pull back. Pfizer holding up pretty darn well today, chopping around. McDonald's, we've talked about this 290 area. Look at the price action. You said it's probably due to pull back. There you go. That's left-right combo. If it breaks the 20-day, look out below. DKNG, we talked about this 39 area. Looks like a good short 200-day. Congratulations. Airbnb, we talked about the trash floats last Trash floats last. There it is. Costco. This one's been on fire, right? We talked about being careful shorting this. Look what's happened the last three days. Nothing. The leaders are starting to lag. Watch the 20 day. If that breaks, it's gone. Down to at least the 50, which is again, 30 points. You take it. I don't know. Everyone's trade parameters and what is a win and success are different. Starbucks, as we talked about, is probably going to be in a choppy, sloppy range. FedEx, if you shorted this one today, you got up a two day range. Look at this blowout trap. Gives it up. Makes sense to me. Again, define your risk. Caterpillar. Look at all these names. It's, this is why I love drawing ranges. Look at that. Dink. Backs off. Deer. This one's been pretty damn strong. But look again. Back test the trend line. Look at that wicker. Wicker basket. Keep it on it. Nucor. Again, I like materials long run. I think they have better risk reward. Again, not shorting. Not really going long either, but watching. Again, all these names are going to be all over the place. They're going to be hard. Valet. Arrow. I mean, they're just on days where the market was down today and closed down. These were all kind of flat. Again, I'm telling you, I think longer term, the money is going to flow into these names. It's just we need some extremes, in my opinion. So they, they'll they they'll basically pull their bids and letting these things pull back. That's my opinion on this. Watching. Watching. Mosaic. Chopping. I mean, all these names look real damn juicy at lows. AA. Again, oof. Who doesn't love aluminum? You need aluminum and everything. I love aluminum foil. I wear tin, tin foil hats every day. Or aluminum foil hats every day. Why do I call it tin foil when it's aluminum? Hmm, interesting. Got it. Someone answer that question in the chat below. I'm a little naive on that. It is aluminum foil, but do say people say aluminum foil hats? No, they say tin foil. Who uses tin foil anymore? Hmm, XLF. Another video for another time. This was an awesome trade today. Who shorted it? I know some folks. BD. No, I know me. We're talking about like, look for the trap. Look for the freaking levels. Look at it. Dink, 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 dink. Love this close. JP Morgan's like, if they're not buying back their stock, why should you? Look at this dead cat bounce. 50 day. Boink. Nailed it. Morgan Stanley. I shorted this one too. XLF. I got Faz. XLF. Dude, I was watching. I'm like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This thing's a donkey. <laughs> Any move over the 50 gave it up. Closed at the low of the day. Bank of Chimerica, holding up a little better, but still closing. Look at these wicks, all the 50 days. If you were watching the financials today, you were like itching. You're like, just bounce, just bounce a little bit. Look at that 20 day, 50 day, just bounce. Carry, just bounce. 59, doink. Love it. Absolutely love it. Again, bought some of this FAZ at eight. Had some orders lower, did not fill. Somebody liked this trade too. They bought 13. Well, holy crap, Ola. 131 million shares traded. Okay, <laughs> XBI. I know some folks who took this trade. Look at this, man. Hits the range. Ding. Dink. This is why you dry those fucking boxes. Excuse my language. Looking good. Looking good. XHB puts were being bought today. Interesting. Thank you, J Solstice. Makes sense. Rates of peak near term. Again, housing is not strong if you're looking to buy it's absolutely like it's it's a it's a gift it's a gift if you're looking to buy i'm telling you hit me up if you're looking to buy i'd love to talk about what the potentiality is how i can help you and what we can do to get you a freaking deal i've been talking about this go watch the videos from earlier in the year i said wait until the fall the fourth quarter you're gonna get some crazy stupid deals you're welcome solar look at that pops gives it all back with these in volume sedge Again, we've talked about this dead cat bouncing, ENPH, anything in the 120s. Look at that. Ding, 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 ding. There you go. Makes sense for solar. Look at this action. It's over the high. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Worth a watch. 
again, solar to me is just a, I'm not really touching it in my opinion, like, or, or not in my opinion. I'm just watching it. Again, we talked about HYG. You got to be high to buy this big old wicker at the highs oil again, near term, the price of oil, it's probably got downside since it bounced, but just again, worth the watch and not, I don't really have an opinion. I think these names were oversold. They're bouncing. Now what? They come back and retest even better. CVE 16, XOP has been a great trade. Look at this nice trade 123 up to 134. That's 10% in five, six days. Congrats if you played it. Now, near term, could it get a little sloppy? Valero, we talked about the gasoline names. They're all chopping at the range lows. MPC, all chain. Yeah. Does this make sense? Again, I think there's downside in these names, but there's also upside longer term, in my opinion. ExxonMobil, nice bounce. Again, I'm not touching any of these with the 10 foot pole, but I'm watching them. I'm watching them. I love Occidental. I think Oxy makes a lot of sense down here, but here's the thing. I've been trading for so long. I know what it's like when the market gets absolutely whacked and these names get thrown about with a baby of the bathwater. I will be there with a freaking net. If you want to go fishing with me or the net later, great EQT, same kind of thing. Watching Flex LNG. Again, I think we'll be natural gas exporters. Again, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. This is not an easy market, potentially for newer folks or people who don't know what the freak is going on. So watch the educational videos. Hit me up. Schedule 30 minutes. Again, it's free. I'll talk to you about anything. We could talk about sports if you want, how the Eagles choke versus the Falcons, whatever. Here to help. Let me know what you need. Appreciate the love, support, generous donations. You guys are awesome. Hopefully you're absolutely killing it like we are. I will talk to you guys and gals. And Yana, peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, your PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.